Hi and welcome to World of Suraj. Gibson. Contents. Early life and birth. Henrik Johan Ibsen was a Norwegian dramatist and poet who was born on the 20th of March, 1828 in Skien, Norway. Henrik Ibsen was born in the small port town of Skien and was one of the six children. When he was eight, his father went bankrupt. For the next eight years, the family lived on a small farm near Skien. Education. In 1849, Ibsen entered Universität Blindern at Christiania, now Oslo, but he soon dropped out for lack of money. He traveled to Germany and Denmark to study scene design. At the age of 15, Ibsen was forced to leave school. Career. He was admired for his technical mastery comparisons and deep emotional insight and plays. He did routine writing for newspapers and managed a small theater. He moved to the small town of Grimstad to become an ap- apprentice pharmacist and began writing plays. His famous fictional work, Pierre Gint, was premiered on 26 February 1876, while his famous realism work, Hedda Gabler, was premiered in 1890. Ibsen's theater career began with the performance of his second play, The Warrior's Barrow, in 1850. When Ibsen began his career in the mid-1800s, European drama offered not much but dramatists made dramas and silly comedies. Later Life and Death In 1900, Ibsen had a series of strokes that left him unable to write. He managed to live for several more years, but he was not fully present during much of his time. On 23rd May 1906, Ibsen died in his home at Arbens Gate 1 in Christiania. Legacy On the occasion of the 100th anniversary of Ibsen's death in 2006, the Norwegian government organized the Ibsen Year, which included celebrations around the world. Several prizes are awarded in the name of Henrik Ibsen. Among them, the International Ibsen Award, the Norwegian Ibsen Award, and the Ibsen Centennial Commemoration Award. The Ibsen Museum. The Ibsen Museet is located at Arbens Gate 1, which was where Henrik Ibsen lived since 1895. The Ibsen family made important contributions to the museum. Ambassador Tancred Ibsen lent or donated personal property inherited from his great-grandfather and his cousin. Ibsen's former residence has been restored to the period when it served as the Ibsen residence. On the occasion of the 100th year commemoration of Ibsen's death, The Ibsen Museum reopened a completely restored writer's home with the original interior, original colors, and decorations. Importance Ibsen rose to being important in large portions because of his refusal to follow the rules of theater at the time. Ibsen's realist plays such as A Doll's House, Ghosts, and An Enemy of the People were championed by this class of suspects society upon their publication. He wrote plays about ordinary people, but from them he brought out sights of devastating directness, great easily, and unusual flashes of rare beauty. Henrik Ibsen's work in theaters. He spent many years employed at Den Norske Theater Bergen, where he was involved in the production of more than 145 plays as a writer, director, and producer. Ibsen returned to Christiania in 1858 to become the creator director of Christiania Theater, also known as National Theater. The end. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.